Hello and thank you for joining me today. My name is Wesley Boudreau, one of the financial advisors here at the Retirement Group. I want to give everybody a quick update on the interest rates and how they're used to calculate the ExxonMobil pension lump sums for both the third quarter and the fourth quarter of 2022. So far year to date, we've seen some impressive inflationary pressure, which has uh, led to higher interest rates, which is also leading to lower lump sum calculations. Uh, the move from the third quarter to the fourth quarter is the most severe we've ever seen. We'll get into that in just a moment. Before I get started, I just want to remind everybody who the retirement group is. Again, we are an independent financial advisory firm that focuses on working with corporate employees and helping them transition into retirement. We're not endorsed by nor are we employed by ExxonMobil. However, we've been working with ExxonMobil employees and retirees for quite some time, which gives us a deep understanding of your benefits plans like the pension calculation, uh, the 401k, healthcare retiree benefits, things like that. So our goal is to help, uh, excuse me, help uh, hold your hand through that transition process and make sure you avoid a lot of mistakes that we've seen from time to time and make sure you maximize your benefits from ExxonMobil. We do have offices throughout the country, so if you need to sit down with one of us face-to-face, -face, we can still accommodate that, but obviously we can handle your phone calls, web meetings, uh, however it's easier for you to get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you through this transition process. And at the end of the day, if there's anything you take us up on, it's our complimentary cash flow analysis. I'll talk about these lump sum interest rates, but the best way to really see if they fit your specific scenario is to look at the cash flow analysis and weigh the pros and cons of both the pension annuity versus lump sum or the combination because you have that choice with ExxonMobil. So let's get into the uh, the interest rates first and foremost. That's what a lot of you are here for and uh, curious about. If we look at this graph, and I'll zoom in in just a moment, but on the top of that, the key thing to remember is these interest rates act like a seesaw effect. So whenever interest rates go down, you're going to see your lump sum rise. And that's what we saw during the pandemic. Interest rates uh, dropped even more than what we expected, which in turn increased your lump sums. Now on the opposite end of that, uh, we always knew the interest rates were going to come up and start driving those lump sums down. However, the inflationary pressure so far in 2022 has been quite extensive and severe and fast, which means we've seen these lump sums drop quite a bit already since the beginning of 2022. And we're seeing the move from the third quarter to the fourth quarter, uh, the largest uh, drop we've ever seen in lump sum calculations. I'll get into that in just a moment. As far as the breakdown, what happens is, uh, keep in mind again, the uh, pension plan for ExxonMobil employees. It's a classic defined benefit plan, in which case there's a formula base to determine how much of an income annuity they're going to give you for the rest of your life. From that point, if you want to do a joint survivor annuity or a period certain, or if you want to take a lump sum, that's where interest rates come into play. So what happens is they take a look at your age, your longevity, look at the amount of income they're giving you on a monthly basis to determine how much they have to give you in a lump sum format for you to essentially go out and try and recreate that same, uh, same income stream. So when those interest rates start to go up, they don't have to give you quite as much. Think about it like a mortgage. When interest rates are higher, you can't afford as big of a, a mortgage or as big of a house. So as these interest rates are going up, it's going to drive down that lump sum. So we've seen uh, severe changes where maybe somebody was looking at a million dollar lump sum at the beginning of the year. It might be, uh, it might be going down by 20% uh, by or so if we look at fourth quarter. So the way they look at those interest rates, they use what are called Pension Protection Act segment rates. They have the first, second, and third segment. And the first segment covers the first uh, five years retirement. Second segment is going to be years six through 20. And the third segment, years 21 and beyond. So for most of us, the, uh, the bulk of that's going to be that second segment. So there's a higher weighting on that aspect there. Now, for those of you that are older, that are going to be over 65 and over 25 years of service, by the end of this year, you actually have the grandfathered rate, which is the GAT rate, which follows the treasury. So it's a little bit better interest rate, which generates a little bit better lump sum as well. But also those interest rates have been coming up quite a bit as well. So let's go ahead and zoom into this uh, this graph and let you take a look at this. What happens is they use the average of the uh, of the previous uh, last two months to determine what that quarter is going to be. So if we look at that uh, third line down there, the fourth quarter of 2022, the blended rates are going to be 3.44%, 4.7% for the second segment, and 4.74%. And those grandfather employees are going to be 3%. That line below there is where we are right now in the third quarter. It's actually 2.16%. So you can see that severe change, 3.53% and 3.82%. If we go down to that bold in the middle, that Q3 to Q4 changes, you'll see that change of about 1.28%, 1.17%, and 0.92% is what we're seeing in the, uh, the changing from the third quarter to the fourth quarter. And we had uh, severe changes almost as uh, high at about, uh, about 80 basis points or so from the second quarter to the uh, third quarter. But what that means to put that in uh, relation is any change of about a 1% is going to equal about a 10% change in your lump sum calculation. Usually it's between eight to 12, let's just say 
1% equals 10% for safety measures. So if you are looking at right now a third quarter lump sum of a million dollars, and if you decide to just wait another month or two and retire in the fourth quarter instead of the third quarter, and we look at that second segment, that move of that 1.17%, you're gonna actually see that uh, you're gonna be losing about 11 or 12% in your portfolio. So that lump sum of a million dollars may go down by about $120,000. If it was a $2 million lump sum, it may go down double that, $240,000. Um, so again, it's really important to weigh these pros and cons and look at that situation as to if you're thinking about taking the lump sum um, versus the annuity. Keep in mind the interest rates are not going to affect the annuity calculation. Obviously, higher inflationary pressure is going to affect your spending power with that annuity because that's a fixed payment, but it will not affect the lump sum. So the best way to look at this is, again, um, there are choices. You can look at uh, all lump sum, all annuity, or a 25-75% split or 50-50 split if you like. But the best way to do this is to run that cash flow analysis that I mentioned before. Uh, if you haven't done one with this in a while or if you haven't done one with this ever, give us a call. We can spend about 10 minutes gathering some basic data from you. Get those run side by side so you can see what your different pension options are with retirement now versus a couple years down the road. Look at the annuity versus the lump sum so you can look at those side by side and how they look not just now, but in 10, 20, 30 years down the road as well. And you really shouldn't make a decision until you actually see that. And then also that can help you back into the retirement decisions as well as investment decisions because a lot of this correlates again to the 401k NUA choices and things like that you have as well. So with that, I want to uh, you know thank everybody for joining us on this quick update on the interest rates. Uh, obviously, the, the key concept here is uh, we're seeing interest rates move higher than we've ever seen in the past and quicker than we've ever seen. So you have severe changes to your lump sum calculation between the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So if you were thinking about retiring in the next year or two, it's definitely uh, advantageous to uh, give us a call to run these numbers and see if it makes sense to go sooner rather than later. Uh, whereas if you're looking to work another five years or so, you may be able to look at a longer break-even point, but it's still important to run those numbers just so you know. So if you have any questions, you can always reach that 1-800-900-5867. You can also reach that info at theretirementgroup.com. There's a couple QR codes on the screen if you want to hold your cell phone up to that. One will get you into uh, my calendar and the other calendars of our advisors if you'd like to schedule an appointment with one of us from a one-on-one -on -one basis. Or if you'd like to uh, make sure that you sign up on our LinkedIn page specific to Exxon and mobile employees so you can get updates like this on the interest rates and any other changes that are uh, coming down the pipeline as well. So with that, I want to remind everybody that, again, we are not employed by nor are we endorsed by Exxon Mobil. However, we have been working with uh, employees for, uh, for quite some time. So if you have any questions about this when I dig into the numbers, just feel free to reach out and give us a call at 1-800-900-5867. Thank you very much. And I hope everybody has a great day.